scientists, hello and welcome back to the laboratory. Today, we're gonna to do an exciting experiment from the National Geographic Cool Reactions Chemistry Kit. Link you can find in the description to make a big fizzy eruption. Now, everything we need today is included in this kit. We're just gonna bring our own room temperature water. So, to get started here, I have in front of me two of our different little measuring cups. I have my room temperature water. And I'm going to start by filling both of these up about halfway with water. There's one, there is another. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this red cabbage powder and I'm going to fill them with one small scoop. Now keep in mind your kit is going to contain two different size scoopers. You have your spoon with two ends and then you have your small tiny scooper. We're gonna use our tiny scooper right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull one little scoop and it goes and you could see it's immediately having an effect here. It's going and it's coloring that water. I'm gonna take another small scoop, put that in there again. Now, for those of you that uh, may not have seen the other experiments, keep in mind that red cabbage powder does act as an indicator so it changes color based on the acidity of the solution it's in something could be more acidic or more basic we're going to just go ahead and mix it just to make sure that that powder is fully dissolved and we've created this solution of red cabbage powder and just room temperature water now, what we're going to do next is we're going to alter the acidity of these liquids. To one cup, we're going to add one big scoop of baking soda and we're going to stir it. And that's probably going to turn it blue because keep in mind, baking soda is a very basic type of a material. And so that mixing is done. I'm now going to come to my baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate gonna go ahead and open it up we're gonna use the big scoop this time so we're switching to our two-sided cup we're using the big scoop and I've got one full of baking soda here big scoop and it is going to one side and I'm gonna go ahead and stir this and I can immediately see the water is turning a dark dark blue and also when you lift it out with your uh, your kind of spoon here, you can also validate that it has turned a dark blue. And keep in mind, that's because that cabbage liquid is that indicator that's telling us we now have a very, very basic solution on one end. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add one big scoop of citric acid to the other solution. Now, that should turn it more red because red indicates acidity with the cabbage powder. And so you can uh, wash off uh, that spoon, just not to cross contaminate prior to dipping it into the citric acid. Go ahead and be careful as you open these items, you wanna do it better than I do, you don't wanna be messy. You wanna be very careful here. So definitely as you're doing these experiments, do it over a material that, uh, that won't get stained or damaged. And so I'm just gonna pour that citric acid in there and I can immediately see it is becoming a very, very deep red there. And so a lot of red, wow. Very, very different color here. This red, because it's acidic, it's reacting to the cabbage powder, which is our pH indicator. Then our basic solution here, based with that baking powder. So we have uh, acidic solution and a basic solution here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our last cup here, an empty cup. We're gonna put it right here in the middle and we're gonna be pouring these two solutions together. Now again, keep in mind, you probably are gonna wanna have this done somewhere on top of some material that you don't mind getting wet, getting dirty, getting stained. And as always, I'm using my safety goggles and I've got my own gloves here. Now, when the baking soda solution, which is our blue solution, and the citric acid solution, which is our red solution, they react, they're gonna be producing water, sodium citrate, 
and carbon dioxide gas. And it's that carbon dioxide gas that's gonna create that effect of frothing and foaming. So get ready, here we go, as we're creating this frothing solution, mixing our blue and our red, our acid and our base, and there it goes, it is foaming, it is frothing, and that is chemistry in action here as we're creating this solution. So very exciting, it is very bubbly, it is overflowing, my goodness, creating quite the extravagant mess here. So good that we're doing this all in the laboratory, but I hope you can all see and hear as these two react and they create that byproduct of that carbon dioxide gas, which we see creating this fizzing and this foaming. So just like that, we had the power of purple experiment here, part of our cool reactions chemistry kit. If you'd like to see other experiments, check out our other videos on the channel, check out our other kits, and I hope to see you all back here in the laboratory soon. Thank <laughs> you.